Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is an exciting day. Today, Sakara arrived. So this video is going to be, I guess like a week in Saqqara. Um, I ordered the five day meal plan. Let's get into this. Let's just like talk about that. I have overindulged. I have for like, I need basically, I need like a total reset of detox. Uh, I need to get this like Rona weight off. I need to get my shit together. All of those things, right? So I looked into Saqqara and it seemed, honestly, it seemed really great. Uh, so I went ahead and ordered the five day thing. This is not sponsored. Um, the other thing though I think is really interesting is I, I think at least for me specifically, I love to cook. So this is something that I am totally like, this is like a total blind spot in my repertoire. Like I have, I have nothing, um, no real like skill set in this. So part of it's also just like giving me an idea of like how to do healthier cooking that's like real healthier, like very plant-based, super food oriented, all that kind of stuff. Yes, I'm excited. So the box literally just arrived. I am stupid pumped about this. Um, let's take a look. So this is the box. Nutrition for Transformation. Cool. It came via FedEx. Um, I've heard, I've watched like videos on this and I've heard people say things like their box came at you know, two in the morning or something. Mine just came now and it's about five. Um, so I think it really depends on where you live. I live in Texas and mine came via FedEx. So there you go. Here's the box. Cool, huh? Okay. And then, oh. Okay, so this, I've seen people talk about this. This is the cooler bag. So if you're like on the go, you can keep your stuff nice. This is the ultimate guide to Saqqara and the lifestyle. And also, oh, I'm glad they did this. They give you a metabolism bar. They give you a super powder. Sorry. Uh, like single serving, which is nice because, like, if you want to, you know, try before you commit, that's kind of great, right? And then I don't know what the hell this thing is. A piece of wood? I don't know. I have no idea what the hell that is. Um, kind of seems incredibly random. Also doesn't seem connected to anything. Oh, and then I got a sample of the, or I guess a survey, I should say, of the um, protein powder, which is really nice. I was hoping they were going to send that. I really was. Okay, so then you get this guidebook, which tells you, like, this is what I really wanted to, like, I need to get better at, like, making this kind of stuff. But I'll be honest with you, I, um... I don't think the rest of my family gives a shit about this. So this makes way more sense for me. So I'm going to look at that. And then we have, what else do we have? Oh, cool. Oh, it's Palo Santo. Holy wood. That's nice. Don't set your fire alarms off. Welcome to the life. We've included this kit. Here's what you need. And this kit is very cool. Ooh, I'm very glad I didn't buy anything yet. And then the quick life guide. Cool. Okay, what we have inside. Thursday's lunch. Youth and beauty salad with a lemon honey dressing. That's a decent sized thing. Um, I even cleaned out my fridge for this. Y'all, I am ready. Wednesday's breakfast is a yoga bunny breakfast with carrot and coconut butter. Yum. What do I have? Friday lunch, grilled cheese with caramelized onion. Part two, enjoy the rustic tomato soup. Oh, there it is. Here's the soup. Yeah, these sizes are not bad. That's a lunch. What's this? Uh, Thursday's breakfast. Aphrodite's morning fig bar. Great. 
Thursday, Tuesday dinner. That's today. This is not what was on the app. But I am not pissed about this. Cool. Um, what's this? Wednesday lunch, Mediterranean chop salad with a pomegranate molasses dressing. What's this? This is dinner. Thursday dinner, Sakara Bibimbap. That looks awesome. Excited. And then this is, oh shit. Wednesday dinner, an anti-inflammatory veggie masala. Hell yes. Am I missing? I feel like I'm missing a breakfast. Am I? Or am I? What is this? Co yeah. Friday breakfast. Coconut praline granola with this milk, which is an antioxidant cacao milk. Cool. And then I have, oh, oh, cool. Okay, I gotta look at that. Anyway, so I got my hands kind of wet. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's wet, but here's your making sure there's not like, you know, private information on this. That's my name. Okay, that's fine. My dinner. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't have a dinner for Friday on this. Oh, but I do have three detox teas. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Or no, pardon me. Once I I don't know. And then probiotics one. Um, interesting. I'm interested in. I guess my dinner comes on because I I ordered five days of this, so uh, I got a notification already that Friday has shipped. Like Friday's order has shipped. So that's kind of cool, right? Do they want these back? Please reuse or recycle. Sometimes I want them back. You know what I mean? I guess not because they're national. Yeah. Very fun. Okay, so let's open. Let me wipe my hand off. And then, oh my God, I'm so excited about these. These look great. <laughs> uh, no complaints on that. These look really good. That's the other thing. If you're naturally... Like, I'm already a pescatarian, and I like healthy food. I just also have to feed people that don't. Um, it is one of those things where, like, this is an easy sell to me because the food looked so good. Okay, so I have 10 capsules of a complete probiotic, and I'm supposed to take one, up to four a day. Okay, start with one. Work your way up. It's like retinol. Okay, cool. And then tea, I don't know what the limit on this is. It doesn't say. So I don't know how many I'm supposed to have a day. But there you go. Cool, huh? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to basically eat the week with you um, and give you my, like, you know, obviously unbiased feedback. Um as it was not sponsored. I, I felt like I was watching videos and I, I, I did not find many that were not sponsored. Um, and so I figured I'd just, you know, add into the pile and, you know, cool. Because it's also one of those things where like straight up, if you're into this kind of stuff, like, yeah, it's expensive. Like everybody says that. But if you're into this kind of stuff, everything in this category is expensive. So at least if you're going to do it, you want to know what's the right stuff, right? And I'll be honest with you, if you're cooking, like I love to cook. I can easily spend a couple hours making a meal, but I don't want to do that for a full family and then listen to the bullshit that you listen to when they don't want to eat that thing. You know what I mean? Like I just, especially when it's like this kind of stuff, I just want to, I, I, I'll pay for the convenience and for the, um, you know, the quality. So hopefully, so yeah. Um, and also the serving sizes, like to make enough of this for as many people as I would need it for. And then them to not like it. <sighs> that suck. Anyway, so, um, my goal is to give you like everyday check-ins. And then I'm also, sorry, my nose is itchy. 
Um, I'm also going to give you like a recap at the end. So I'll tell you like if I've lost any weight, how I'm feeling, if I have my sleep, all that kind of stuff. Because I think all that stuff kind of plays a role. And, you know, for a full, what's the word I'm looking for? A fully comprehensive experience. There we go. So let's get started. Um, I think we have to run out to Costco and then... Uh, he's probably gonna pick up dinner for himself because the Lord knows he ain't gonna eat this. And, um, I, he would eat this if I made it. Um, which is actually one of the reasons why I wanted to try out. I only committed to one week. I didn't do a subscription. I wanted to see how it went. I wanted to try a full week, make sure there wasn't any, like, hot spots of, like, mm, and then go from there. So, hopefully, it's great. Okay. It is dinner time. Tonight, we're having this. The Saqqara burrito bowl with the turmeric corn salsa. Let's open it. Wow. It looks really good. Oh, this is good. Look at this. With dressing. That's like a lot of that's a lot of dressing. Okay, cool. This is not sucky so far. I'm excited. Let's do this. Okay, so I just shook it all up together and I like swiped the salad dressing. It's yummy. So let's give it a taste test. You can kind of see some of the texture in that. Like that. Not a bad cake, man. I look insane because I just got it home from going to Costco. Mmm. Mmm. I would order this. If this was like a sweet greens option, I would order this. This is really good. Okay. That one. I would repeat that one for sure. This does not suck at all. This is excellent. Straight up, if every single meal tastes like that, I will buy the shit out of this service forever. I want to learn how to make that. That is, I would make that, I would literally eat that multiple times a week. That was so good. Um, and it was like portioned really well. Like you didn't feel like, like I finished it at the same time he finished a like foot long soap. So it's like a decent portion. You know, not enough to make you uncomfortable, but you're also not still hungry. I legitimately hope it all stays like this. Good morning. So it is about 7.19. I've been awake for a little over 20 minutes. I just came in and made my coffee. Um, according to this, you're supposed to have water and then you have your probiotic with your breakfast. Um, I always take vitamins with my coffee and this is not a habit I'm like, you know, interested in changing. So um, I'm maintaining that. But I also don't eat first thing in the morning. Um, and I'm, I, I wake up pretty tired. Um, they're like groggy, you know what I mean? Like you just need a minute. So, um, so I am not, <laughs> just, this is more just to be like thorough than it is to be, you know, accurate to this. But yeah, when I decide to eat that, I will take my probiotic. But for now, I have protein coffee and I've got, um, all my daily vitamins. Okay, it is 10 19 a.m. on Wednesday. I just finished working out, taking a shower, doing my skincare. Now I'm ready for food. Um, I'm having the yoga bunny breakfast with carrot coconut uh, butter. Heat until warm, top with coconut butter. Okay. Y'all look at this. Look at this like a tiny little, that's cute. But look at this tiny little apple. How cute is that? Oh, it's seen some shit. Um, yeah cute right i'm gonna heat this up because i might as well like have it to its fullest flavor potential right okay so for sure not the most appealing looking breakfast this is like a baby apple let's try this forgive my parents i literally just took a shower Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna try it with the apple. Cute, right? Just this mangled mess.
That's good. Yeah, not the most, like, I think you could probably make it look cuter. I didn't because I'm, I'm, like, right at that brink of getting, like, really hungry. And I'm also in the process of doing, like, three different things. So this just kind of is what it is. But it's real life, right? Anyway, real good. Also, I just took my first probiotic with breakfast, which you're allowed to do. It says so in this or with it. There you go. Okay, so I have to go run an errand. Um, and I'll be gone for a little bit, probably like two hours or so. Um, I, so I had watched uh, some videos like prior to getting this and everybody, like a theme I had noticed where people would be like, oh, this breakfast is too much. Like I can't finish it. And I seriously think they hadn't worked out beforehand because I ate that breakfast like an hour ago, maybe 45 minutes ago, what time is it? Uh, yeah, 50 minutes ago. And I'm like, okay, I can have a snack. So I'm gonna take the metabolism bar with me with a bottle of water. Um, this has got 12 grams of plant protein, double chocolate, plant protein, met metabolic blend. So we'll see how I fare. And then I'll come home and have my lunch and then mid afternoon I'm gonna do my detox tea because I'm, <sighs> that's just kind of how my day is structured. This is like the least flattering lighting ever. Um, I am just parked. I, uh, about 20 minutes early to my appointment, 15-ish, 20, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna eat my Saqqara metabolism bar now. I drink my water like a good person. Let's find out if it's any good. Okay, so first piece of feedback because it smells really good. And it looks like a straight up candy bar. That's the texture. Mmm. It's dry. It's just really dry. Like I need water. I feel like it's all in my teeth. Yeah, that's real dry. Okay, straight up, I'm not a fan of these. It's too dry to have a flavor. Like, it's that kind of thing where you don't even know what it's supposed to taste like. Um, it looks like it's supposed to taste like a truffle. It does not taste like a truffle. It tastes like sand. Um, so this is the first thing that I've had that I don't like. I'll eat it because it's, you know, what I got right now. Um, I did order some of those detox bars. I just got like an eight pack off Amazon. Um, now I'm a little like, oh, fuck. But give it a go. I also have those. They're not by Saqqara, but they're by Mind Right. Um, they're like a chocolate peanut butter uh, bar. And it has, I think calorically, it's like 50 or 60 more calories. Um, I think it might have more protein, but it has like all this other stuff in it to help you with like your headspace, which is like something I'm really working on right now is just like, you know, a ton of like mental work and like breath work and like being present and all this kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, this is the first pass. Okay. So I finished the bar. It took a half a bottle of water for me to figure out the flavor. Uh, I know it's supposed to be chocolate. It doesn't taste, it doesn't lead with that. It just leads with it's like so intensely dry that you don't know what the taste is. And then once you've had enough water, I think it, it just tastes like chocolate sand. That's like the easiest way I can explain it. Um, yeah, so that's the first kind of miss for me. And I'm honestly, I'm really grateful that they sent just the one. Because I knew, like, all the reviews are so hit or miss that it's like, you're either going to love this or you're going to hate it. So I am glad I got to try one. Uh, at least I know now not to buy those. So I'm kind of grateful for, I'm actually hopeful that they send different stuff in Friday's box, like the rest of the week. Because um, I'd love to try more stuff before I buy I don't want to buy like a 30 pack of something and wind up hating it. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's okay. Lunch today is some type of, I, can't, I think it's like a Mediterranean chopped salad. I looked at it really briefly when I was looking at breakfast. Um, 
that looks good it looks big which is nice because like i know when i get home i'm gonna be like volume hungry not like snacky hungry so i'm, I'm really happy with that and like the cadence of it so far feels nice like every couple hours you're kind of dipping in um and it's all super convenient so if you've got one of those days like i've got today where you're just kind of going it's yeah like it makes a ton of sense and i'm only on day one okay it is now 1 30 on wednesday and i'm going to have lunch i'm having the mediterranean chopped salad with a pomegranate molasses dressing let's take a little look see okay that is like the oh cool oh cool oh, okay cool wow i like how much stuff they give you it's nice Okay, so we done. We need to fork off some of the rest of that. All right, let's let's like assemble. Okay, so this is it fully assembled and tossed and like shh up and everything. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm. Hold on. Mm -hmm. It's like earthy, which I like, but not like a mushroom earthy. It's really good. I like this a lot. It's also one of those things that for like a salad, it's really well like balanced with how dense it is. So you're definitely getting a lot of greens, but you're also getting like a lot of other stuff. You know what I mean? So you're, you actually feel good and like you had a real meal and you're not deprived. You taste that immediately. Like it's, it does, it, it, it's very good. This is very good. I really like, this is, this is definitely something I would order again. Okay, so update for you. I've just finished my salad. <sighs> um, my, this is really good. I'm, I'm gonna start with that, it's really good. The thing I would say to you is if you are somebody who has either historically been this way or has gotten into the habit where you eat to the point of like, oof, or like extreme satiation or something like that, you're going to notice that you're not like that. So that's not meaning anything. It's just like something to mention. Um, I don't feel particularly still hungry, uh, but I don't feel like I've hit that wall. You know what I mean? So worth mentioning to you, um, the salad was really good though. I will tell you out the gate, every prepared food I've had so far, granted there's only been three, but they've all been good and like and like good enough to where it's like if they came again I would be happy um so I'm gonna I'm hoping that that keeps up I want to get through all of today I actually should check the schedule to see if like when I have to put an order in uh, but I want to get through all of today before I commit to doing it like another week or like subscribing or whatever um and then my second shipment arrives Friday. So I've got enough food to get me through for any lunch. So there you go. Okay, so now we're on the detox tea portion of the day. This tastes really mild. Like I just gotta be real with you. It's like not, I would totally add stuff to this. Like I would, you know, like it needs cinnamon, it needs ginger, it needs, like some sort of a, like a body to it. I could go for some sugar. You could do like a coconut sugar or stevia. I don't know. Like whatever. I don't know what their like philosophy is on any of that stuff yet. I'm, I'm just drinking it. It's not bad. It's just like it could, we could do better. You know what I mean? Like we could have more flavor. So there you go. Um, but I'm drinking my tea. It's like three. And I will tell you, I did have a mind right bar. 
um, after lunch, which is like a, it's another plant-based like protein bar, but it's good for like, you know, ashwagandha and some other things to help you with like being all the mental shit I'm working on right now, like the being present and the calm and all the things. So I did have that. Um, and then that really helped, um, with satiation, like for long term, I tend to not eat in the morning. I'll have like my protein coffee and I'll usually have two today. I've had one. Um, just because, you know, Sakara, but I'll typically have two and then I don't eat until after workout and I'll have a, I'll have like my meal and then I snack during the afternoon and I'll have dinner. So I'm, I'm right on track for how I normally eat. Um, only difference is I didn't have a second coffee. Yeah, that'd be what I, do. I think that's the biggest, clearest distinction uh, between today and like any other day. Um, I think I'm just, I'm a little tired and I think it's that. Um, but I listened, I just did some like meditation and breath work. Um, I tried to do that at least like twice a day and, uh, I'm about to start some more stuff, like more active stuff. So yeah. And then I think I'm going to have a pretty early dinner tonight. Um, just because it's, you know, is what it is. I will tell you, I could go for more salt. And not like French fries, um, but like I feel like my sodium, I feel like there's probably something that they offer that I just haven't had yet that's like to help balance that. And I know it's because I just do so much cardio, especially this month I'm doing like all cardio. So, um, I, but I, I think I can kind of feel that. Like normally I would want, you know, anyway, there you go. Okay, it's dinner time. I am making Jeremy. He's like, I was not prepared for this. I'm making him the good old piece of the Wonder Gal Gadot's mac and cheese company. I ordered like the sampler pox just for like days like this. So he's going to have that. I'm making him that. And I'm going to have this. I'm going to heat it. Okay, cool. Anti-inflammatory veggie masala. Uh, I'm going to heat it in a cast iron. I have tried, my hair looks insane because I took a nap, which I don't usually do, but I think it's because I didn't have my second coffee and normally I would have eaten something with a little bit more of like a pep in it, like sugar or whatever. Um, so I'm just a little tired. Uh, I'm still tired, um, but whatever, right? I did have a detox bar, a Saqqara one. I will tell you, I bought those separately. Uh, I think I got them through Amazon. Um, I just like an eight pack. I th that's actually why I got them through Amazon because you just get like an eight pack just in case they were bad. They're actually way better than metabolism bars. So, so that was good. Um, totally fine with that. And yeah, so I'm going to make this, make him his mac and cheese. Okay. So this is what it looks like with just the lid off. I'm just going to cook it in a cast iron pan. This is heated up. Can you shut off music? No, it's really fine. Okay, so it is Thursday morning. It's 9, 12 a.m. Normally, I would not eat breakfast. Um, like, you know what I mean? Like pre sakara But I, two things are different. One is <sighs> this stuff kind of kicks into your body. I, I think around like the 24-hour mark, especially... Keep in mind, I think something else I need to disclaim is that my Apple Watch monthly challenge is to is quite literally me burning 1,110 calories a day. So I'm doing daily cardio. And I just think my appetite's higher. Um, so I'm a little hungrier than normal. Uh, but all that to say, I also have a live workout that I'm doing at 11 uh, today. So I have to get on the bike by 1040 to do my, wor my warm up. And... I know normally I would be hungry around that time, so I'm kind of kind of pre-gaming a little bit. Anyway, more than you probably want to know, but just so I'm being thorough, this is what we're having today. I'm going to toast it because it says to. Um, I cooked my masala last night in a cast iron skillet while I was making Jeremy's dinner, and it was like legit delicious. So let's open this. Okay, so you know how I said I was going to toast it? <laughs> Look at it. I mean, maybe not. It's like on my little whatever this is. And then I've got a little 
beautiful, the smallest fruit ever. Okay, so I just have these little bits. Mm. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, let me try to reassemble this and toast it in my, um, what do we call that? The smart oven. I just talked this whole time and it wasn't even recording and I just ate. Okay, so, so sorry. Um, this is really good. Definitely worth toasting. A little messy in the toaster. This is mild compared, like, the sauce needs to be paired with this because this is too bland on its own because this is so fig heavy. Um, they pair really well, right? The thing I would say, if you, like, if you're, like, somebody who maybe is like me where you really love to cook, you really love, like, you know, developing flavor and everything, a compliment I would definitely give Sakara is they do a really good job telling you how to prepare this. Um, super simply, like, you just literally toasted this. But that toasting brings out the caramelization in this, and it really kind of, you know, enhances that depth of flavor. So then when you're, you know, you may not be eating what you would normally be eating, but you're still satisfied and you still feel like you had, you know, enough. And it was like it, the flavor was there. You know what I mean? That's what they always tell you when you're losing weight or doing any kind of a diet or whatever. Um, so you don't feel like you're like going without or just like it's the thing that sucks with like all the trainers where it's like the most boring food ever. They do a really good job of making it delicious. Um, they really also encourage you plating your food. So you like take the moment and like don't do anything while you're eating, which clearly I'm doing a great job of that. Um, but yeah, so this is really good. This is better than I thought it was going to be. Okay, it is lunchtime. It is 12.57. I had a killer workout. I am in my um, self-tan clothes because I literally just self tan and I'm going to eat this and I'm going to watch the new Kardashians and let this thing cook for a while on my skin so I look better. So today is the youth and beauty salad with a lemon honey dressing. This sounds very light. Let's take a look. Okay, this is what it looks like. Dressing and seeds. So let's toss. Not the most appealing looking. Um, I mean, like, it's pretty it's colorful, but, like, oh, shit. Um, the dressing's thick. It's, like, cold. It's, like, too cold. So that'll be fun. I'm assuming it'll kind of fall out as it time passes. But let's try some. Mmm. Mmm. This is yummy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yum, yum. That's good. Um, pardon me. Not sure how long it's going to hold me over. Also, friendly reminder, you know, Apple monthly tracker bullshit, but Apple Watch rather. But, um, I do have that. Oh, uh, what do I have? I still have that and I have this and I have my tea for today. So I think I might try this. Um, this afternoon if I get snackish and then I'll go to my detox tea in between snack and dinner because you remember me telling you how I get like hungrier in the afternoon. Um, but yeah, I gotta figure out how to make this right. I think there's like a recipe on that website that they recommended or their blog or whatever. So I gotta find out. But yeah, um, salad's yum though. I thought it was gonna be, I thought this was gonna be like kind of underwhelming just because it looks a little like bare, but like, no. This, I, again, like, this is the thing that I really love that I'm, like, super surprised by is just how flavorful everything is. And the textures are all super good. Like, they really do a great job of this. And this is coming from somebody who, like, you know, really enjoys cooking and trying to make food taste, like, really good. This is not, like, deprivation at all. Okay, y'all, I just made the smoothie, and this is bomb. So they tell you to make it with things I didn't have, like a nut milk, um, spinach. I did have a nut butter. I had peanut butter, and I had a banana. So I just did banana, peanut butter, water, 
and then the powder and ice and it's really good so so far this is like a total win wonderful news so my um sakara box came like a whole day early don't mind my self-tan outfit with this vibe i've got going on i thought we were gonna go we always go get tacos on thursday night but we're not doing it tonight so i got ready for nothing <laughs> Which is fine. Anyway, this is what came a whole day early, which makes me... I feel like I'm looking the wrong way. Oh, I totally am. Okay. A whole day early, which makes me so happy. Uh, so let's look inside. Okay. So, like, as the standard, their vibe, you know. Let's see what we got. Don't mind this truly that it was totally not mine. It's absolutely Jeremy's. No sarcasm. It really was Jeremy's. Uh, oh. Saturday lunch, spiced carrot swirls. Enjoy with a hydrating jicama salad. Oh my God, I love jicama. Oh, oh I'm excited about that. Oh my God, I love jicama. What's this? This is strawberry maca shortcake. This is my Sunday breakfast. That looks a little beat up, but I'm sure it's good. Then we have rose petal pancakes with a peach buttercream. Have to admit, not a fan of peach, but we'll eat as I've not disliked anything. <sighs> that's Saturday. Oh my God, that's so oh shit. That just straight up came off. That's the first time I've had a lid just like that. Uh -huh. So that's Saturday breakfast, Saturday. Here's Saturday, Sunday. Okay, cool. And then what's this guy? Sunday lunch is an eggplant florentine with a roasted broccolini. Oh, and it has a marinara with it. They give you a good amount of sauce. Okay, cool. It's Sunday. So Sunday's a little... Okay. What's this? S Stop it. Oh my god, Saturday I'm so excited about. Oh my god, yeah. I live in Texas, y'all. Anytime I see this kind of stuff, oh my god. Okay. And then this is the mole enchilada. Hell to the yeah. Wait, that's Friday dinner? It's a Saturday dinner. I'm confused. I don't know. I don't know. Hang on. Let's see what my other options are. Friday dinner. Okay. So then I'm assuming that's just. Okay, whatever. Beauty blend salad with a spirulina vinaigrette. That looks hearty. And that is everything. So I have... I got the box. The last box was Friday through lunch. This is Friday dinner. This is all of Saturday. And Sunday... Wait. Saturday, there's like a lot of stuff going on here. Okay, so then I don't have a Sunday night dinner. That's right. So I don't have Sunday night dinner. I don't have anything Monday. And then Monday, Tuesday breakfast and Tuesday lunch I don't have. That's how this shakes out. Okay, cool. That's fine. All right. Well, this is just, I'm so excited. I was kind of really hoping for this because I love enchiladas. Um, and this makes me so happy too because I love jicama so much and I love tomatoes it's like my favorite and then pan I get some sort of a pancake situation um I'm excited that's my wait am I hallucinating breakfast breakfast no I'm not I'm fine okay cool okay cool so that's what we're looking like the back half of the week okay so a few more things to tell you I did not get any more like like single serving stuff to try in this box so i was really hoping i would i really wanted the uh chocolates and the water drops um just to, you know what i mean just to try them so i didn't get them in this one but at least it kind of tells me like a bit of a cadence with that like you only get it in the first box blah blah, blah of the week i should say so um i did order for next week already so maybe i'll get lucky and i'll get them in that box and then I just want to try as much as I can before I put in an order for like that kind of supplemental snacky kind of stuff because I feel like I've loved the greens and protein. That was my favorite. Then the detox bar was my second. 
then the tea, then the metabolism bar. I didn't know like the metabolism bar. Uh, I have not had the metabolism powder yet. Oh, I forgot to have the tea. Oh, oh, and I take my, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a mess. I gotta take my probiotic. Um, when we start making dinner, so let me show you that. So dinner tonight is the Saqqara Bibimbap with a spicy sesame sauce. And we're looking like this with this sauce. So I'm gonna heat this in a cast, look at my, look, so glam. Uh, and my cast iron skillet, and then we're gonna eat that for dinner. Um, and then I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna have that metabolism powder as a hot chocolate for dessert tonight. And um, that's I was complaining on having sangria and queso, and you know, these like really delicious vegetarian tacos, but it's okay. Um, so I'm gonna do this, and then I will report back. Okay, so this is the bibimbap. Let's try it. What's interesting is that it's a lot lighter than like normal. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna go get it out, but it's still really good. It's just like, it's noticeably lighter because all the flavors are normally pretty much not like heavier. But I guess so, you know, when you really think about it. Well, not so much the flavor. There's just other elements that are heavier that obviously have been removed. But it's still really good. Like, I'm not... That's the thing I'm consistently, like, happy about. Is that you don't feel deprived. The flavors are really good. You know, even if you're like, I don't know. It's still, like, incredibly edible. You know what I mean? I'll be the first one to tell you. I'm not the world's biggest fan of cooked spinach, but I've eaten it in two days. I'm fine. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm. Yeah. I'll still be hungry, but I'm gonna have that metabolism powder and like hot water and make like a hot chocolate. I don't have a nut milk. It's coming tomorrow, so. Um, and unless I'm, like, going out to dinner, I don't really want to, like, stray too much, you know what I mean? I want to keep it plant-based. So, yeah. Yum. No. We can't have it. We can't have it. All right, so I'm doing the metabolism powder. It's not great. I will admit, I did it with hot water, um, because I don't have a nut milk. So, maybe it's better tomorrow. Or, like, with an oil, probably. I don't know. It's not great. It's not horrible, but it's not hot chocolate. It's just, like, better than that damn bar. That bar was horrible. That bar was horrible. But, yeah. And then I'm eating a detox bar. Which is way better than the metabolism bar. Okay, so I'd like to make an amendment. I'm having the metabolism powder. The, like, hot chocolate. That and the tea, the, the detox tea, I find get a lot better if you have them sit for like a while. Like the flavors really develop in, I just use hot water. So like, it's not like I used it. I think it would be a lot better if you like steamed some milk, some nut milk, but I didn't do that. Um, and it's gotten a lot better in the last like couple of minutes. And it's probably been 20 minutes. So worth you know what I mean don't make it if you're like needing to pound in the next five minutes is my point but yeah I wouldn't rule it out now that I've had it I'm really selling myself on this whole fucking collection aren't I thank god I'm gonna redo my pantry next week I can make room good morning it is 9 a.m I am gonna eat breakfast because I am hungry um I will tell you so it's Friday morning. I've been doing this since Tuesday night, right? I can tell you that I'm sleeping better. Um, and like for, I tend to go to bed a little bit early. 
and but like going to sleep and all of that process my quality of sleep um kind of increased pretty quickly which is really nice because it's something I've been struggling with a lot lately um but the other thing is when I wake up in the morning I feel really like leaned out and I don't know if you know what I mean by that but like you just feel like there's less water in you you know what I mean so um I am I'm a I'm I'm a little hungry I'm like this amount hungry um I also have about an hour and a half of cardio to do today so um yeah I'm, I'm kind of prepping for energy. I do have my coffee and I will definitely be having two of those because it's super gloomy out today. Um, and we have a pretty busy day. So I wanted to get this in. Oh, I need to take my probiotic with this. I wanted to get this in before the day kind of went off. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's what's up. I'm in my post up PJ and I tend to not stay closed. So you're low, but let's put, I've got a little bit of coconut praline and antioxidant cacao milk. It's basically chocolate milk. Oh, that's full. Okay, cool. So this is what it looks like. There you go. I mean, like, honestly, it's not, again, like, cool, right? Okay, so let's try it. Mm. That's pretty good. Yeah. There's like a whole nuts in it too. Oh, there's hazelnuts. Yeah. Wow. Cool. All right, so now we're at lunchtime. It's 1.30. I'm having rustic tomato soup with a grilled cheese, which I am stupid excited for. Tomato soup and grilled cheese are one of my favorite meals of all time. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, this is before cooking. This needs to be heated up. This needs to be uh, cooked in a 350 oven for a few minutes, so I'm going to do that now. And then this is assuming my dress dressing. One of these is dressing and the other one, I don't know. What? Hold on. This looks like the jam. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Okay, so this is it fully assembled. Uh, tomato soup, a little salad, and then this is the grilled cheese. I had no idea what any of this is made out of, um, but it looks really good. And there's a caramelized onion jam that I had to put on it, which, yeah, I'm very excited. So let's try it. Soup's up first. Oh, that's good. Soup is good. The dressing's like kind of firm, like really firm. So I assembled it and just kind of let it sit. Just an FYI. Salad's really good. Just a simple salad. This is kind of like a classic concept for a lunch, but it's the first time I've had it. Oh, wow. That's good. Okay, so straight up. Um... This is probably the most excited, aside from that burrito bowl the first night, this is the most excited I've been for a meal, just because of like the flavors, you know? Like myself tan, real cute. Uh, the enchilada, which I think is on deck for tomorrow. I think tomorrow's food's supposed to be really good too. Um, that's also something that I'm really excited about. Everything, point is, everything I've been really excited about is really delicious. So I'm like really grateful that I'm, not underwhelmed, you know what I mean? So it's obviously not gonna taste like the classic childhood, but it is very good. And the flavors are really good. Um, and this is like a really decent sized lunch when you think about it. Can I help you, sir? Look at this, look at this. What the fuck? Hello? Um, yeah, I have already signed up for next week. That's coming Tuesday. And then I also signed up for the Oh, what is it? The drops, the blue drops, the, what do they call them? Detox drops? Detox bars and the um, greens and protein powder, because that was bomb. So those are, they've already shipped, which is great. Um, and I like that idea because on days I don't have the food, I can kind of keep like threads of it going. I will tell you, 
I've done this less than a week, totally not sponsored. And I am fully suckered into this. Like this is great. Um, I feel really good. My sleep's getting better. Everything that I've been struggling with the last, if I'm being totally honest with you, the last couple of months is going, is like on the right path. I wouldn't say it's like, you know, substantially resolved because it's been way too soon. But like, I've definitely had the best sleep the last couple of nights that I've had in weeks. I've had, um, I wake up not bloated, which has been like a really big issue of mine lately. Um, like, you know, when you wake up and you feel like you're still digesting last night's dinner, I hate that feeling so much and I've had it way too often. So just all of the things that basically are why I chose to do this, it's checking all the boxes that I needed it to check and I feel really good and I don't feel deprived. I'm not bitchy, you know, and also another reminder that I'm burning 1110 calories a day per my Apple watch monthly monthly challenge. So it's usually a little bit more than that, but, um, I'm doing cardio seven days a week on this, like Peloton cycling, like cardio. Right. So like, that's all keep all that in mind as well. Like, it's not like I'm taking a lot of recovery days and whatever. No, I'm not taking any. Um, but yeah, that's my update for you. Good morning. Good morning, Duke. Uh, today for breakfast, we're having the rose petal pancakes with a peach buttercream. Heating is optional. Toast until warm, top with the buttercream. I have to be honest with you, I am not a big peach fan at all. It's like one of my least favorite fruits. And I could go without the taste of rose. So this, I'm not, I'm, I, I've done this in enough times, I just try it, right? What's up, baby? Um, Tino's? Uh -huh. It looks like he has uh, egg and cheese. That's okay, I got this. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So this is the buttercream, and then they give you like the world's smallest oranges. So, that's fine, whatever. It says to toast until warm, so I'm gonna do that, and then we'll circle back. Okay, so this is the finished product. My coffee, and I will tell you, I have not changed my coffee. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Habit, uh, which is basically espresso and premier protein shake. That's all that is. Um, but yeah, let's give this a go. That pairs well. It pairs really well. Okay, so it's growing on me. Mm -hmm. They need to work together. I'll be honest with you, not my favorite, but I would totally get this again. Like, I wouldn't swap it. You just need the balance because it this brightness and sweetness makes this have like a savory well like a warmer tone to it almost like a cinnamony kind of vibe so it just kind of like elevates it you know what i mean like the flavor is really good when paired it's enhanced well so on its own I, hang on no yeah. i mean yeah that is good it is good. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. And I don't like peaches. Like, I will never buy peaches. Gladys is not... I don't think she's feeling very good today. She's a little uh, snuggly and tender today. So, uh, I managed to work out. But I'm going to hang out with her now for the rest of the day. Just to kind of give her some you know, peace of mind. Um, oh, if you don't know. I don't know if I actually said this. She started chemo. So, she's I'm on like day almost week almost a month in she's almost a month in anyway um i don't know it friday dinner is actually going to be saturday lunch because we went to tacos last night so i'm having the beauty blend salad with a spirulina vinaigrette this is what we're looking like it looks pretty yum i don't know what the hell that is what is that dude i don't know whatever all right so pick up 
It's not the dressing. Okay. We dump. Okay. So freshly shaken. Um, this is one of those salads where if you're very anti-fruit in your salad, you may not want this. This has kiwi, like... Is she okay? Let me keep making this really quick. Kiwi chunks and blackberries and all kinds of stuff in it. Um, I don't know what the hell this thing... Oh, it's avocado. Oh, cool. It's like coated avocado. I don't know what it was crusted in, but hey, man. Cucumber. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. This looks really yummy. If you, but if you're like anti, um, it's a wet salad, which I'm in the mood for, and if, it's super fruity. So if you're not into that kind of stuff, you may not like this. I have no problem with any of this. So hold on. Mmm. 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 This is good. I'm super glad I had this for lunch today because I'm a tall. It's a, it's a lot of heavy lifting for a salad for lunch or for dinner rather. That was a good call. Okay, so this is a fully uh, prepared cacao enchilada with the creamy corn and cotija and all of that. The mole enchilada thing. Such a pro. Um, I heated this up in the smart oven for like a 350 for like 13 minutes. And there's like some pink sauce that I came with. I have no idea. I'm on my couch eating it, watching the Kardashians. Well, Adelaide doesn't feel good. So like... Happy Saturday. Mmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. That's really good. All right. So, two things. One is, notice how much food there is in this. Like, this is a full bowl plate. This is very yummy and chocolatey. Um, oh, yeah. I'm into this. This is something I was legitimately really excited for, so I'm glad it's good. I've definitely noticed also that... I I get definitely more snackier. I think it's from all the cardio. I get snackier in between lunch and dinner. So I've had bars, that kind of stuff. I could totally go for those smoothies, the protein and uh, green smoothies, but it hasn't arrived yet. So whatever, it's fine. Um, just full disclosure. Uh, but it's also, I, I think I have to like keep stating I'm doing an aggressive amount of cardio seven days a week right now. Good morning. It is Sunday and it is time for breakfast. It is 10.07. We're looking at a strawberry maca shortcake today. Uh, let's see it. I mean, it really doesn't appeal to me, but I'll eat it because I have to. What's this green thing in it? It has cauliflower in it. Micro basil. Okay, let's give it a go. This is my last like full day of eating off my first week of Saqqara. And this is quite literally the first time I've had anything that didn't have a lot of flavor to it. Yeah, it's not bad, but it could be better. And they're really good at this. Like I've been consistently surprised with how much flavor everything's had in it. So I find this strange. Again, not bad, but like of everything I've had for breakfast, it ranks the lowest. Okay, it is now Sunday at 3.56. Now, I haven't eaten lunch. Um, I think I had breakfast at like 10. Um, so there you go. And then I worked out and I've been doing stuff. So it's now four and I'm gonna have lunch. But I'm having the hydrating jicama salad, which looks like this. I love jicama. It's like one of my favorite kind of unsung hero veggies. The deep, deep love for jicama. Get you out of my shirt and into the salad. Oh, yum. And then spiced carrot swirls, which I have to put in the oven at 350 for five minutes. And my dog wants to go outside. So let's do that. Okay, so carrots are warming up, which is fine. But I just want to take a bite of this salad. I literally just dump everything in, put the lid on and shake it a bunch and then that's it. So that's why it never looks that cute because it's just all the heavy stuff into the bottom. Mmm. Oh man. Oh, that's really good. These are my flavors. This is really good. Oh, I'm so glad this is good. I would eat this all the time. 
this and that burrito bowl are my two favorites. It's just a flavor profile. It's like eating like Tex-Mex. I'm super into that. Like I would order this at a restaurant. Okay. I understand this is not a cute look, but it real. You know what I mean? That's what it is. These are really good. These are really good. Totally not something I would have ever have thought to make. Unless it was like really bored and going on like a Pinterest rabbit hole or something, which I don't do. But these are bomb. I would totally make these. Okay, so then this is the last meal of the first week. And it's eggplant florentine with a roasted broccolini topped with a marinara. So, I have uh, like three minutes left on this in the oven. I will say, if you do this, if you have a smart oven, uh, we have like a Breville. It's so handy because it does multiple things and if you have to toast something that's like too delicate to go in like you know vertically uh it's just really helpful and then everything that has to bake at like 350 for five minutes because it heats up quicker it's just like you know if you're doing this kind of thing time is probably a factor for you and it's just really convenient and i just throw it in like aluminum foil make it easy this is the marinara and I've already tried a little bit of it, and it's really good. So the good news is, like, there's there's literally been, like, what, two things maybe that the flavor wasn't there on? And no, yeah, two things if you include that bar. And then this morning's breakfast wasn't my favorite, but, like, whatever. It's one meal of the whole thing. It's a really good uh, percentage, and it's still totally edible. So I'm excited to try the, you know, rest of it, and hopefully we're still doing great. Okay, so this is it. This is the eggplant Florentine with the marinara. I'm gonna put the marinara on it, so like you're supposed to, with roasted broccolini. Let's try it. I made blueberry pie this morning too. Go. Cool. Yeah. How'd it come out? I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Mmm. doing this this is really good which is if you're like one of those people that gets a little weird about eggplant i was a little nervous because you know mm -hmm. but no this is solid this is really good i don't know how the hell they managed to make it not get like gross but they did so props to them hello it is me from the future i realized i'd forgotten to oh my god these dogs i realized i'd forgotten to film an outro to the sakara like week one video it is now week two of Sakara. And I actually kind of think I might do like a monthly check-in on this. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. But anyway, thanks so much for watching y'all. Have a great day.